Mama Mirei Banza. Let us clap to the Lord. To come and greet the church. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Asante. 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 Kwa mfalme wa mbinguni na dunia Mungu Baba for the maker of the heavens and the universe our father Jehovah Jire Jehovah Jire anatupatia he has given us maisha in this morning life today atulipe kitu and you didn't pay him anything tunalamuka we woke up tunakuta and we found kwa hii mwili in this body tuko na maisha we have the breath of life mungu baba apeane sifa milele na milele we give god praise forever and ever nasema santi kwa mungu yesu kristo I say thank you to our Lord Jesus Christ for dying for our sins on the cross. Yeye ni unique mediator. Yeye ni mpatanishi between God and people. Kati ya Mungu na wanadamu. Yeye ni lada Jacob aliona kwa ndoto. He is the Jacob's ladder that Jacob saw in his dream. Bwana Yesu anatuconnect na Mungu Baba. Jesus is the one connecting us with God the Father. She atukukwa ma Yuda, Jewish people. We were not the Jewish people. Sasa Bwana Yesu anatuwash na damu yake anatugref kwa muti ya Abraham sasa tunaitwa watoto wa Mungu Jesus washed us with his blood and engraved us into the tree of Abraham now we are called the children of God Simba wa Yuda mimi namtiju The lion of the tribe of Judah I exalt him Nasema asante sana kwa Roho Mtakatifu I'm saying thank you so much to the mighty Holy Spirit Roho takatifu anatusaidia. The mighty Holy Spirit helps us kuelewa teaching ya toba. To understand the teachings of repentance. Wengo wengi weko nje hawajui kama kuna big treasure hapa. Many are outside there and they don't understand there's a there treasure here. Kama wewe na mimi tunaelewa ni Roho Mtakatifu ndio anatusaidia. If you and me understand it is because the Holy Spirit is helping us. Apeane sifa milele na milele. I give praise forever and ever. Roho Mtakatifu anatuprepare kwenda mbinguni. The Holy Spirit is preparing us to go to heaven. Nasema asante sana. I'm saying thank you, thank you so much. Kwa manabi wawili wa Jehovah, to the two mega mightiest prophets of Jehovah. Sasa tuko na kanisa. Now we have a church in in all worlds. In the entire world. Hakukua na kanisa. There was no church. Hakukua na ma Paralytic walikuwa natembea kama leo. There were no paralytics or cripples walking like today. It is no small things. Hiyo si jambo ndogo. Ni very big. Ni kubwa kubwa. It's very glorious. Ni ya utukufu sana. Ndio maana nakimbia this morning nasema munipeleke main altar. That's why I ran this morning I said I take me to Nairobi main altar. Kwa sababu hii ni madabao ya manabii wawili wako. Because this is the holy altar of the two mega mightiest prophets of the Lord. Ukuingia hapa 
When I entered here, release this morning. The two bless the mighty the blessing that the two mega matches prophets of the Lord released this morning. The blessings will receive you at the door. Usika kwa nyumba. Don't remain in the house. Hey, Kenya. Kenya. Uko na very big Treasure. You have a very big treasure. Mina wangalia, I look at you. Nasema, ah, watu kweli. Do these people really understand? Kama sisi tunatoka mbali. Like for us, we come from very far. Mine ka kwa ndeke for eight hours and a half. For me, I I boarded an aeroplane for eight and a half hours. Kukua kuchukua baraka ile mweye muko nayo. To come and fetch these blessings that you have. Ushangalie Europe. Don't look at Europe. Eh, uko mali mazuri hapa. You are in the better. You are in a better place. Kukua under the uh, the clouds. Being sitting under the clouds. Ina pita America. It, it far out it it, far, it goes beyond america in africa in africa europe it overtakes europe oh thank you my baba zetu thank you so much the two mega mightiest prophets of the lord our fathers kukua kutulambusha for coming to awaken us sasa tuna tuko kwa aiwe ya kwenda mbinguni now we are in the highway that goes to heaven oh thank you Thank you. Royangu inasema mambo mingi. My heart is saying a lot of things. Acha nitumikie time. Now let me take a few moments. A few minutes. Nasema Santi najua kama gen eh uh, askofu mku the blessed archbishop general Chaka ako Kericho. I'm saying thank you because I know the senior archbishop the blessed beloved senior archbishop is now in Kericho. Acha nasema thank you so much. I say thank you so much. Now pia mama Askofu Stella Chaka and also mama archbishop Stella Chaka Mungu amukumbuke. May the Lord remember her. Pia nasema thank you kwa only team. I'm saying thank you to the the resident bishop Askofu uh, Mwenyeji na siwezi kusahabu jina yako <laughs> Lawrence Askofu Unajua, Lawrence Unajua unasimama na manabii wa wili wa kukwa many years kwa men altar the for standing with the mega matches of matches prophets of the lord here at Nairobi men loving the lord bishop residence Lawrence the resident bishop Lawrence thank you thank you kupenda bwana Thank you for with loving the the whole team and with the entire team the worship team the worship team kila mtu wa main altar kila mtu here at the main altar najua mnabarikiwa i know you are blessed mina encourage kila mtu i want to encourage everybody mnafanya kazi kubwa you are doing a mighty work mwendeleye continue kwa jina la yesu in the mighty name of jesus nilipata uh, opportunity I got an opportunity ya ku class in Nakuru nilibaki Nakuru for two months when I was following the discipleship class in Nakuru I remained here behind for two weeks manabi wawili waku walitubariki my husband and me to follow this class the mightiest mightiest prophets of the lord blessed me with my husband so that we can follow this class my husband archbishop Nathaniel Banza My husband uh, Archbishop Banza, yanafanya kazi kama engineer in Amsterdam. He works as an engineer there in Amsterdam. Mimi Sasa niko full God time. released me for work after working for 20 years at K- KLM. Blessing inatoka kwa manabii wawili waku. The blessings came from the two mega matches prophets of the Lord. Na Mungu wa manabii wawili waku wana provide kwa very high way. And the God of the two mega matches prophets of the Lord provided in a very big way. Kenya mnabarikiwa. Kenya you are blessed. Eh wakati nilikuwa na kuru, when I was in Nakuru, napata ndoto. I, I got a dream. Naona manabii wawili waku wana rudi kutoka Brazil. I saw the two mega mighty prophets of the Lord returning from Brazil. Walikuwa very, walikuwa kubwa, walikuwa na glorious. They were very huge and very glorious. Sasa 
walikuwa natoka mahali ilikuwa kama white house unaona hii white house ya America vile inekaaka they were coming from the white house you remember the you know the white house in America kwa ile ndoto in that dream walikuwa natoka ile nyuma yake ilikuwa kama white house very glorious behind them the glory was whiter whiter like white like white house ndio ilikuwa kama airport alikuwa natoka pale when he was coming in at the airport sasa mimi na my husband tulikuwa very far my husband and i were very far kule wanazika watu where we were burying people sasa manabii wananifaa tu hivi and the mightiest prophets of the lord pointed towards us au akwa nasema and they were not saying anything mimi mimi naelewa i understood kama inafani tuke kule niende nikamupokelee kule watu wote walikuwa namupokelea airport that i come from where we were i was standing with my husband so that i come where people were receiving him at the airport sasa kwa hii ndoto in this dream siku obeyed i didn't obey nilikuwa nafanya pole pole i was very slow nilikuwa nakata i was uh, refusing na nilibaki kule i remained there paka nalamuka kwa ndoto then i woke up from the dream oh nilitetemeka i really trembled nilielewa kama i understood ni mungu njoo anakuwa kuniambia that god was telling me inafanya ipokelee manabii wawili wa ku airport wakati watatoka brazil that i supposed to receive the two mega marches prophets of the lord when they at the airport when they come back from brazil nilienda kama after exam nilirudi amsterdam after the exams i went back to amsterdam for few days for few days sikuangalia pesa ya ticket i didn't look at the ticket nili buy another ticket i bought another ticket nambia my husband i told my husband inafaa tunafuata hii mungu anatuambia you must follow this what the god is telling us na nilikuwa kwa mbio sana i was really running nilikuwa pale airport i was at the airport mambo mingi litendeka a lot of things happened mungu anasema god told me ule atafata ta ma, ma teaching ya manabii wawili wa ku those who will not follow the teachings of the two mega marches prophets atabakia kule wanazika watu will remain where people are being buried and miss rapture and you will miss the rapture kwa majina anaitwa her name is uh, archbishop mku mirei adasa banza senior archbishop mirei banza minasimamia kanisa in belgium She is the one overseeing the church in Belgium. Sasa tuko na makanisa mingi. We have many churches. Na blessing ya manabii wawili wa ku inatufungulia kanisa in Amsterdam, Belgium, France, UK, Germany, uh, uh, Canada, USA and Congo DC. The mighty blessings of the Lord have opened for us churches in Amsterdam, Belgium, France, UK, Germany, Congo. It's French French speaking. Wakati tulikuwa hapa tulikuwa tu na kanisa moja tu Amsterdam. When we were here we only had one church in Amsterdam. Hii kanisa Amsterdam inafaa sasa 28 years. The church in Amsterdam now has 28 years. Ma ai kukua na grow. There was no growth. Akukua blessing there was no blessing wakati tuna meet manabii wawili wa ku when we met the two mega marches prophets of jehovah mungu wa manabii wawili wa ku analeta watu online the, ma- the god of the two mega marches prophets of the lord brought people online sasa tunaanza kufungwa makanisa pale watu wetu weko Now we started opening churches where our people are. Mambo ya kusema ni mingi sana. There's a lot to be said. Mungu wa manabii ana heal people. The, the God of the mighty prophets prophet is healing people. Wakati mina ubiri online, when I was preaching online, watu watapika simu later wanaandika wakati ulikuwa na ubiri nilikuwa natapika ni wengine walikuwa napitisha tumbo wakaenda hospitali kansa ina disappear. People were writing to me calling me after the teaching that I had diarrhea I used to vomit but after the teaching I went to the hospital and I am cancer free. Kanisa inaanza njo sahi. The church now is being birthed. Acha niingie kwa teaching. Now let me go to the teachings. Nimalizie hapo so that I finish from there. 
teaching manabiwa wili wakuwa no to teach in five days. The teaching that the two mega mightiest prophets of the Lord taught us in two days. Nilipata in five op- days. Nilipata pia opportunity ya kukula kwa mesa ya manabiwa wili waku wakati walitoka Brazil kule headquarter. I, I was privileged to sit under the mightiest mightiest prophets of the Lord when he was teaching after coming back from Brazil. Na kukula. Eat, eat to eat. Eat dinner. To eat, to eat dinner. The God showed his mightiest, mightiest prophets. From that day until today when I'm in Kenya. My husband came but he went back because he needs to go back to us. Thank you, my Baba Zetu. I'm saying thank you to our fathers. Kutukumbuka sisi watu wa chini. For remembering us as the lowly people. I'm not worthy. Mimi sister Eli kutupenda. I'm not worthy to be loved. Kutu kutonesha njia mbinguni. For showing us the way of heaven. With much of love. With a lot of love. Thank you. Thank you so much. Napenda kusalimia kanisa na this world. I want to greet the church together with this word. The glorification of the saints. The glorification of the saints. Naenda kusoma tusome 1st John chapter 3. Naenda kusoma Yohana waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana sura ya 3. Kwanza verse 1 to 3 kwanza mstari wa kwanza hadi wa tatu. nitasoma in french nitasoma katika kifaransa voyez quel amour le père nous a témoigné pour que nous soyons appelés enfants de dieu et nous le sommes si le monde ne nous connaît pas ce qui ne l'a pas connu bien-aimés nous sommes maintenant enfants de dieu et ce que nous serons n'a pas encore été manifesté mais nous savons que Lorsque cela sera manifesté, nous serons semblables à lui parce que nous le verrons tel qu'il est. Quiconque a cette espérance en lui se purifie comme lui-même est pur. Tazameni nipendo kuu namna gani alilotupa baba kwamba sisi tuitwe wana wa Mungu na ndivyo tulivyo kwa sababu hii ulimwengu haut kwa sababu hii ulimwengu haututambui kwa kuwa haukumtambua yeye wapendwa sasa tu wana wa Mungu lakini bado haijadhirika tutakavyokuwa lakini twajua ya kwamba yeye atakapodhihirishwa tutafanana naye kwa maana tutamuona kama alivyo kila mmoja mwenye matumaini haya ndani yake hujitakasa kama vile yeye alivyo mtakatifu kila mtu atendaye dhambi afanya uasi kwa kuwa dhambi ni wasi. Tunaweza First Thessalonica 4:13 to 18. We can add First Thessalonians 4:13 to 18. Nous ne voulons pas frères que vous soyez dans l'ignorance au sujet de ceux qui dorment afin que vous ne vous affligez pas comme les autres qui n'ont point d'espérance. Car si nous croyons que Jésus est mort et qu'il est ressuscité, croyons aussi que Dieu ramènera par Jésus et avec lui ceux qui sont morts. Voici en effet ce que nous vous déclarons d'après la parole du Seigneur. Nous les vivants restés pour l'avènement du Seigneur, nous ne dévancerons pas ceux qui sont morts. Car le Seigneur lui-même a un signe donné à la voix d'un archange et au son de la trompette de Dieu descendra du ciel et les morts en Christ ressusciteront premièrement ensuite nous les vivants qui serons restés nous serons tous ensemble enlevés avec eux sur des nuées à la rencontre du Seigneur dans les airs et ainsi nous serons toujours avec le Seigneur consolez-vous donc les uns les autres par ces paroles la ndugu Hatutaki mkose kujua kuhusu wale waliolala mauti ili msiuzunike kama watu wengine wasio kuwa na tumaini kwa kuwa tunaamini kwamba Yesu alikufa na kufufuka na kwa hivyo Mungu kwa njia ya Yesu atawafufua pamoja naye wale waliolala mautini ndani yake 
kulingana na neno la Bwana mwenyewe tunawaambia kwamba sisi ambao bado tuko hai tuliobaki hadi kuja kwake Bwana hakika tutawatangulia waliolala mauti kwa maana Bwana mwenyewe atashuka kutoka mbinguni akitoa amri kwa sauti kuu pamoja na sauti ya malaika mkuu na sauti ya tarumbeta ya Mungu na waliokufa wakiwa katika Kristo watafufuka kwanza baada ya hilo sisi tulio hai tulio salia tutanyakuliwa pamoja nao katika mawingu ili kumlaki Bwana hewani hivyo tutakuwa pamoja na Bwana milele kwa hivyo farijia neni kwa maneno haya Nasema hapa kuna big message There is a big message here in 1 John chapter 3 In the book of 1 John chapter 3 Kwanza verse 1 from verse 1 Bible says The Bible says Angalia mapendo kubwa Mungu Baba anatupenda Look the, the, the great love that God has shown us Tuitwe watoto wa Mungu that we may be called sons of the living God Tunaitwa watoto wa Mungu pale kuko msalaba ya Bwana Yesu. We are called the children of God there at the cross. Kupitia msalaba ya Yesu through the cross of Christ. Kupitia kifo na kufufuka ya Bwana Yesu through the death and resurrection of Christ. Sio tunakuwa watoto wa Mungu. We have been made the children of God. Mapendo kubwa great love Mungu anatubeba sisi tulikuwa wa lesbian God has loved us those of us who we are lesbians Tulikuwa watu wanatoa mimba we were, we, were, we we used to abort Naweza kufungua kitu pale I can open something there Mama yangu wakati alikuwa na mimba yangu My mother when she had she was pregnant with me Ali divorce na baba yangu She divorced with my father. Alikuwa na mimba yangu one month. She had she was pregnant with me. Ananza kumeza da, ananza kumeza dawa. She started taking drugs ju atoe hii mimba. So that she can abort. Mimba itoke. And this pregnancy was not ab- was Anenda not coming hospitali. out. She went to the hospital. Wanamwash tumbo. And, and they tried washing her stomach. Three months later naona mimba inaendelea. Three months later the tummy was growing. Angalia huyu mtoto mama yangu alikuwa na ua. Look at this child that my mother tried to kill. Angalia leo vile mimi na save Mungu. Look look at how today I'm serving God. It's big testimony pale. There's a big testimony there. Nafunga tu. And I, and, and I am closing kwa sababu ya time. Because of time. Mimi nataka kukuonyesha tu. I want to show you. Unaona wale watu na uua. Those people that you are killing. Unatoa mimba. When you are aborting unaua wale walikuwa hata wakuwa ma president you are killing those who are meant to be president wale walikuwa wakuwa wa servant of the lord those who are to become servants of god sasa now angalia privilege look at the privilege damu ya yesu the blood of jesus ina to wash has washed us ina change identity yetu it's changing our identity tulikuwa wa criminal tulikuwa we were criminals tulikuwa wa wongo we were liars hatukuwa nasema kweli we were deceivers watu wachafu sana we were filthy people sasa damu ya yesu ina tulokota now the blood of jesus has picked us up tunaitwa watoto wa mungu now we are called the children of god This is very big privilege. This is a very big privilege. Sasa now Bwana Yesu anasema Our Lord Jesus is saying Anaambia manabii wa wili waku He told the two mega mightiest prophets of the go Lord tell them Go and tell them Mambo haitaishia hapo Things are not over yet. Wakati wa uvivio, the time of revival watafanana na mimi. They will look like me. Mita wa glorify. I will glorify them. Iko gopa Mungu. If you fear God, iko vala ma, ma long skirts, glorious. Dressing in long skirts, glorious. Iko na reward. It has a reward. Tutafanana na Bwana Yesu. We will look like him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unaweza fanya lili 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 lili. Oh 
Sema, si mama sema, mitafanana na Yesu. Mitafanana na Yesu. Mitafanana na Yesu. It does not matter if you have not boarded an airplane. You can see. Sam tunaangalia magesha ya manabii wanatoka America, wanatoka Canada, wanatoka Europe. Unawatamani. Sometimes you look at the two mega matches prophets of the Lord. And you admire when they are coming back from America, from Brazil. Inafaa unaona wanacha America tunacha Europe tunakuja hapa You see we leave Europe and America behind to come here Hatuna ile mwemu unapata hapa kule We don't have that which you have here there The glorification of the saints Glorification of the saints What a powerful teaching ni mafundisho ya kule aliyo kuu namna gani? Unaweza kutusomea Philippians 3:20 wa Filipo 3:20 kabla nimalize as I finish <coughs> wa Filipo 3:20 yes please Biblia inasema lakini wenyeji wetu uko mbinguni nasi tunamgoja kwa shauku mwokozi kutoka huko yani bwana Yesu Kristo atakaye ubadili mwili wetu wa unyonge ili upate kufanana na mwili wake wa utukufu kwa uweza ule ambao kwa huo aweza hata kuvitiisha vitu vyote chini yake hapa neno ya mbili nataka kuacha kwa kanisa men altar There are two things that I want to leave here at Nairobi Main Altar. The cities, the even citizen. Uraia wa kibinguni. Bible says, Biblia inasema, sisi sisi tuko kwa safari ndefu sana duniani. We are on a long journey here on earth. Short. Short tutarudi home we are on a short journey here on earth and we will go back home tuko watu om nyumbani ni heaven our home is in heaven ah kama nitakusema in french itakuwa rahisi kwangu acha holy spirit anisaidie it's okay you can continue ah yeah tuko citizen yetu Our citizenship is in heaven. We have to prepare. We are supposed to live on this earth na culture ya mbinguni with our eyes on focused on heaven. Culture, cloth, culture, culture with the culture of heaven. Neza beba Uh, for example for example kama unakuta wa Kenya wanaishi Amsterdam if you find christians living in amsterdam wa Kenya kenyans living in amsterdam wa, wa, wana wa, ah, ah okay ta manage acha niendelee kwa kwa swahili hata inanibariki <laughs> Sasa utaona wa Kenya wale wanaishi Amsterdam Uta, you will see Kenyans living in Amsterdam utawakuta you will find them wanatafuta mboga ya Kenya looking for Kenya, bo, uh, vegetables from Kenya utawakuta you will find them wana kama wanapika chakula when they cook food wana mema samaki ya tilapia They cook uh, the marinade still up here. Na hii ingredients ya Kenya. With Kenyan ingredients. Utawakuta, you will find them. Ukiingia nyumbani yao, when you go to their home, wanaongea na watoto wao Swahili. They will be talking to their children in Kiswahili. Wakisumu wanaongea hii French ya Kisumu. With the people from Kisumu speaking in Luo. 
wa wa kikuyu wanaongea kikuyu kikuyu speaking in kikuyu wana 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 protect the culture they are protecting their culture wako wana wako wako canada amsterdam uk wako canada amsterdam uk utawakuta wana ishi na culture ya kenya you will find them living with the kenyan culture hata wakisumu kama wanaenda ku wanaama kikuyu even when luos move to kikuyu hawataongea kikuyu wataongea hii france ya kisumu they will not speak in kikuyu but they'll speak in luo sasa ku from this example from this example tuingie sasa kwa hii philippine uh, 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 320 na 21 Now let us use this example for this scripture of Philippians 3:20-21. Vile tunajua nyumbani ni mbinguni. Now that we know that our home is in heaven. Inafaa tunavaa kama watu wa mbinguni. We are supposed to dress like the people of heaven, the citizens of heaven. Kama wanakuangalia wanapita, when they look at you passing by, uko na distinction wanaweza ku localize u mtu asifanane na watu wa walls when they look at you you have the distinction that they can tell that you are from from heaven kwa sababu mbinguni you are not from this world kwa sababu mbinguni because heaven in Isaiah 63 utakuta pale the angel wana cover body when you look at the, the book of Isaiah 63 you, look, you see the angels covering their bodies That is in neno ya pili na cha hapa. Isaya chapter 6 verse 3. Inafaa tunaishi kama watu wa mbinguni. We are supposed to live like citizens of heaven. Psalm 20 Psalm 127 Psalms the book of Psalms 127 neno ya tatu the third scripture Psalm 127 Psalms 127 Si l'Éternel ne bâtit la maison, ceux qui la bâtissent se travaillent en vain. Si l'Éternel ne garde la ville, celui qui la garde veille en vain. En vain vous vous levez vous matin, vous couchez-vous tard et mangez-vous les pains de douleur. Il en donne autant à ses bien-aimés pendant leur sommeil. Voici, deux fils ce sont un héritage de l'Éternel. Le fruit des entrailles est une récompense comme le flèche dans la main d'un guerrier ainsi sont les fils de la jeunesse et relomme qui en a rempli son carquois ils ne seront pas confus quand ils parleront avec des ennemis à la porte Zaburi 127 mstari wa kwanza Bwana asipojenga nyumba wajengao ufanya kazi bure Bwana asipolinda mji walindi walinzi wakesha bure Mnajisumbua bure kwa muka mapema na kuchelewa kulala mkitaabikia chakula kwa maana yeye huwapa usingizi wapenzi wake wana ni urithi utokao kwa Bwana watoto ni zawadi kutoka kwake kama mishale mikononi mwa mashu, kwa shu, mwa shuja, ndivyo walivyo wana awazao mtu katika ujana wake heri mtu ambaye podo lake limejazwa nao hawataibishwa wanaposhindana na adui zao langoni apa neno ya tatu here the third scripture unaweza kuandika you can write mungu njo mujenga nyumba ile itasimama milele the lord is the builder of the house that will stand forever the bible says the bible says kama wale wanajenga If those who are building the house awajenge na Mungu they are not building with the Lord wanafanya kazi bure they are they are doing a, a name, they are, their work is useless Tunaweza kuona ile inatendeka Israeli If you can see what is happening in Israel the fulfillment ya prophecy ya manabii wawili waku in Israel the fulfillment of the prophecy of the two mega mightiest prophets of the Lord in Israel inaogopesha it's really dreadful For many years, kwa miaka mingi, my husband and me, my husband and I, Mungu anatu alitufungulia hii mlango. The Lord opened for us this door. Tuna organize uh, 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 tunabeba magroup 
Kanisa Israel. For we were taking groups, organizing and taking groups to Israel. More than 20 years now. For more than 20 years now. The last meeting to Liberty in Jordan, 21 people, it was just this last July. In the last, this last July, we took people and baptized them in Jordan. In Israel. In Israel, 21 people. In Israel. In Israel. We can control very high. We can control, control passport. They, we, they have very strict control measures. Can they have Palestine in Israel? Next to Palestine and Israel. Can they have a big wall in Kabul? Can they have a big wall? There is a big, huge wall that separates these two countries. Na ma camera, ma ma satellite, wana zakona enemy for far. There are so many cameras, even satellite images that can see the enemy from far. We can get airport. When you get into the airport, atanza kuku fatili na palota utatembe a kwa town. They will follow you or even where you'll be going to town. Sasa ngalia. Look now. Ville. The way wanakata Messiah. They refuse the Messiah. Angalia this time. Look at this time. Judgment ya Mungu. The judgment of God. Vile enemy anengia. When now the enemy entered, awakumona. They didn't see him. Wanawakata kichwa. They butchered their heads. Oh 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 oh. Wa youth. The youth. Walikuwa uka discotheque. They were in the discotheque. Israel's youth. Israeli youth. Wanacheza e dance ya shetani. Boom, boom, boom. They were dancing in the discotheque. Na the devilish dance. Na enemy anengia. Ana wapika masasi. Wa youth. Wale walita kukimbia kwa parking. Wana wanafata. Wana wawa. The enemy came in and shot at the youth who were dancing. Some of them were trying to run away to the parking or to the trenches. They followed them and shot at them. Kama au focus mbinguni. If you are not focusing in heaven. Ata unaweka kamera kwa mulango yako. Even if you put cameras at your doorstep. Ata unajaza pesa kwa banki. And even, even if you, f you, you put a lot of money in the bank. Kama sio mungu njo anaku protect. If it is not God protecting you. Kuna siku moja tu. There is a day coming. Yote uli jenga. The all that you have built. Itenda chini. Will go down. Will be destroyed. We unaogopa mungu. If you fear God, if you know that it's only God who is building your life, before before we enter heaven, we have the protection through the mighty blood of Jesus. Kama uko na civilization ya heaven. If you are a citizen of heaven, know that it is God who is building your life. Tuachane na kanisa ya Lord, Lord, Lord. Let us leave the church of Lord, Lord, Lord. Matthew 7, uneza kusoma nyumbani. Matthew chapter 7, you can read at home. 21. Matthew 7, 21. Siku ya rapture. The day of the rapture. Wanakuja. They will come. Wanasema. And say. Lord. Lord. Tulipeana unabi kwa jina yako. We gave out prophecies in your name. Tulipata mandoto ilikuwa kweli. We dreamt true dreams. Wengine wanazani kama wanapata mandoto iko exact mungu na wajua. Apana. Those who are dream, some people think that because they dream truthful dreams, God knows them. Ata Farao alipata mandoto. Even Farao dreamt. Bwana Yesu na sema. The Lord Jesus is saying, I will tell them wazi, wazi. Uh, openly, far from me. Far from me. Si wajue. Si wajue. You are you workers of iniquity. Ini good time Mungu anatupatia. This is a good time that God is giving us. Kila mtu, everybody, angalia maisha yake. Look at your life to focus 
Let us focus. Kama tuko wa citizen ya heaven. As citizens of heaven. To change namuna ya kuishi. Let us change our way of life. Niza kushare this testimony in a few minutes. Can I share this testimony in a few minutes? Wakati moja, one time, tulikuwa na gonjwa. I was there was a disease. My husband begin began. My husband became sick fast. His neck could, talk, could not turn left, neither could he turn left. Right. It started when we were still in Akuru. I don't know which menengai. The mightiest mega prophets of the Lord in, so my husband was not okay and they blessed him there. I didn't know that there was something big that was starting. We were there in Menengai 4, we came again in Menengai 5, we came back, even Menengai 6, we come again. Every Sunday in the church. Come every Sunday to the church. Fanya kitu kanisani, save Lord. Do something in the house. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. Focus binguni. Focus your eyes on heaven. Ikazi unafanizia Mungu. This work that you are doing for the Lord itakukombania. One day it will fight for you. Tunarudi Amsterdam, Netherlands. We will return to Amsterdam. Inakuwa sasa na mimi na kwa mgonjwa. Then I, it is now me it's my turn now I became sick. Nikiponya kidogo my husband anaendelea. If I become a well uh, slightly well my husband now is the one who becomes sick. Shortly Sh- shortly for 3 months. For 3 months. Ah. Nini ninatendeka? Now what is happening? Tunikalaka na joint service. Now when we had a joint service. Wale wana pray na sis online. Those who are praying with us online, physically. now they come physically. Ile na joint service, the time that we had a joint service, this disease now continued. I felt like they were piercing me or um, Dawa roasting me like barbecue. Medicine was not helping me. Doctors could not find anything. I remember one day. I remember the day of the joint service. It was very, very bad. If I cough slightly like this, then uh, I, I wet myself. I couldn't control myself. The church really saw everything. They prayed and they became tired. That time I didn't have strength even to drive myself. They took me home. I wrote a message to the senior bishop Macharia. I started seeing myself dying. I, I told her, tell, Baba, tell dad that I'm leaving, I'm going, I'm dying. After so minutes, short minute, napata uh, prayer, Baba, ana, ana, wanasema, muambie, mina mukova na damu ya Yesu, na cancel hii kifo kwa jina la Yesu. After a few minutes, my lords and my fathers responded and they said, I cancel death in the mighty name of Jesus. The mightiest prophets of the Lord asked which disease. Tell them to go to the hospital. The day I said call an ambulance for first time. For the first time. Years school in Netherlands. I have lived 30 years in Netherlands. For first time in a semi call ambulance. For the first time I said call the ambulance. I could feel them piercing me, cutting me. Tunafika hospital in emergency. When we arrived at the hospital in the emergency section, I couldn't sit at the, at the chair. On the floor. I was lying on the floor. 
I was just standing. Na repent paka nachoka. I was repenting until I was tired. Na sema Mungu nisamee. I was saying I was saying God forgive me. Hata ile sijui kama nilitenda dhambi. Even the the things that I don't remember doing. Madaktari wanakuja wazungu, eh hey, wananilokota, wana wananipatia room, wanaangalia damu, wanaangalia kila kitu, awaone kitu, awone awone kitu. White doctors came, they started looking at me, performing tests and tests and they could not find anything. Tupende Yesu. Hallelujah. Let us love Jesus. Hallelujah. Togope Mungu. Let us fear God. Wanasema hata tuwezi kukwacha huko hospitali, nafamu hudi nyumbani. They told us we cannot leave you in the hospital, you have to go home. Sasa wakati nilipokea hii decree ya manabii wawili waku, nilisikia Mina hudi ndani yangu kifo ile lienda sasa ugonjwa inaendelea kuma kulikuwa na kitu Mungu alitaka kutonesha hapo When I received this decree from the mega mightiest prophets of the Lord I felt something happening inside of me the Lord wanted to teach us something from there Kulikuwa kitu kubwa ilikuwa inatendeka before decree There was something big that was happening before the decree Nilikuwa nasikia uko na nibeba waende na mimi I was feeling like somebody was carrying me to take me with them Nona hiyo isa hii You see this watch here? Ni, ni gift ya manabii. This is a wrist watch as a gift from the two mega mightiest mightiest prophets of the Lord. Wali buy for my husband one and a mimi when they, he bought they bought them when they uh Wakati, for my husband with their Sababu walikuwa napita msedam my husband na mi sisi njo tulikuwa napanga security very early tunasimama pale tunawapokea tunawapeleka business class waneka sasa kutusema kutuambia asante kwa kazi kubwa mlifanya walitupatia hii We were we were welcoming them uh, when they were live, when they were when they came to Amsterdam we were organizing for their security we were doing ushering at the airport so to say thank you they gifted me and my husband this watch Sasa ile wakati so that time nilikuwa nasikia kitu hapa kama shinga ilikuwa na kataza nikufe At that time I was feeling something here in my wrist trying to to uh, to constrict me as if i want to die sikuelewa ile wakati i didn't understand that time later later nilielewa i understood oh kumbe oh hii kazi tulifanyia manabii wawili waku the work that we did for the two mega mightiest prophets of jehovah ili intervene mbele ya throne ya mungu It really intervened for on our behalf before God. To save Lord Ikanisa. To serve the Lord in this church. Sasa wananirudisha nyumbani. They return me home. After a few days. After a few days. Acha nirudie nyuma. Let me go back. Jumuelewe vizuri. So that you may understand me well. My husband, my husband, a confessbone is the first born in a big family in a big family 25 children 25 children wakati mungu anatutembelea when god visited us vile nilikuwa na kazi nzuri KLM when i had a good job at KLM mimi niambia my husband i told my husband at least ku abandon family we can't abandon our family acha tutoe baba yako in the village let us bring your father from the village now while your brothers and sisters and with your brothers and sisters to a late capital city in Kinshasa so that we bring them here to the capital city in Kinshasa ni mimi njoo nilifanya hiyo it is me who did that tunilibeba nyumba mzuri kubwa paka vitu vingine inatoka Netherlands tunawatumia walikuwa sawa kabisa it is me who did that and we brought a lot of things some things even came from Netherlands they were very much okay sitakuwa shame wewe uko sawa na baba yako ana sawa it will be a shame if you are doing well and your father is not doing well sasa ule anafuata my husband the one following my husband nilimupenda sana I really loved him. Nasema yeye nafa tunamupeleka tumuite huku Europe, mkwe mawili musaidie wengine. I told him let's bring him to Europe so that we are we are two so that we can help others. As anakata. He refused. Hata nilikuwa namtumia vitu. I used to send him things. Alikuwa 53 years old. He was 53 years old. Anakata. He refused. Nasema mimi sipendi Europe. He said I don't like Europe. Anaenda Angola. He went to Angola. Angola the time 
used to move between Angola, Kinshasa, Angola. Sasa mimi niendelea. Sasa mimi narudi kwa testimony. So now I'm returning to my testimony. Sasa tunapata simu. We received a phone call. Wale mimi napendaka sana. The brother that I loved so much. Na ye eko mgonjwa. He was so sick. The same same na kama ile ilikuwa natufanya sisi the same sickness that we had with my husband hata aseme tena ongee tena he can't even talk kila kitu anajifanyizia kwa kwa nguo he would just go um at the hospital na mutoa anasema huwa atakufa in few minutes even the hospital said take him he will die in a few minutes nasema oh hii ni kitu gani hii then we said oh what is this nasema muweke simu Then he told them put a phone call. The young brother ya my husband eko pastor kule nasema we weka simu. The young brother of my husband was there. We told him uh, uh, place a phone call. Nauliza bibi yake ya ule alikuwa mgonjwa. We asked the wife of the sick the sick brother. Nasema we we ulionguka kwa dhambi ya ngono adultery. We asked him did you fall into sexual sin adultery? Kwa sababu in my tribe because in my time tribe in my tribe kama bibi anaanguka kwa dhambi ya ngono if a wife falls in the sin to kuna, the sin of sexual immorality kitu moyo walifanyaga you know that what they do tangia adhamani from way way back kitu kama hiyo iteza kukua mtoto anaweza kufa au bwana yako au peke yako something like that might happen your child may die or your husband hii kitu inafataka watu this thing follows people mimi namuuliza ulionguka kwa dhambi ya ngono i asked her did you fall into adultery asema pana she said no nasema okay i said okay sasa ye eko pale amelala kama wanamtoa upi hospitali He was just lying there because they had brought him back from the hospital. Sasa nasema mwaye the first of all mu repeat this prayer mu pokea bwana Yesu. So I told them repeat this prayer receive to receive the Lord. Wana pokea bwana Yesu. They receive the Lord. Don't forget. Don't forget. Niko chini ya decree. I am under the mighty decree the mighty prophet of the Lord. Of the two mighty prophets of the Lord. Wali sema I cancel the kifo. They said I cancel death. Jina la Yesu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sasa niko na operate chini ya this anointing. Now I'm operating under this anointing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Famu kono hivi praise the Lord. Amen. Ilikuwa usiku. It was at night. In the morning. In the morning. My husband anasikia vizuri. My husband is feeling okay. Anaenda kazini. He went to work. Na mimi nasikia mwili inaanza kupona. Now I started feeling that I'm becoming well. Kwa sababu nilikuwa na mandoto mbaya 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 because I was having very bad dreams. Nilikuwa naona kama my brother kama sio my brother ananiweka mafasi ile ya maka wanazika watu. Nilikuwa naona mandoto mbaya. I would dream bad dreams if it is not my brother it was some, uh, some somebody close to me who was dressing me with the uh, Sasa ile burial siku, clothes. Ile that, day, siku, that that day Tunalamuka vizuri. We woke up very well. My husband called me. My husband called me from the work, from work, from work. Eh hey, Angola inakupikia simu. He asked that uh, Angola call you. Nasema hapana. No. Anasema wananipikia huku. They told he told me well, they have called me here. Kila mtu anaogopa wewe kule. Everybody is fearing you. After your prayer, after your prayer, huyu alilamuka. This one uh, the, my brother got up. Wait. Wait. Ana anasema ningo na njaa. He said I'm hungry. Wanampikia ugali kubwa hivi anakula. They cooked for him a very big ugali and he ate. Na ananza kucheka. And he started laughing. Sasa huyu young brother ko pastor and this young brother who is a pastor. Anasema, ah, ah, he said no. There's something wrong. Something is wrong. Mimi nateswa na wewe hospitali kukuka. Ni nini? I really suffer taking you to the hospital and back. What is wrong? Ananza kucheka. And he started laughing. Anasema yeye, he said, alifanya covenant na shetani. He made a covenant with the devil. Alenda kufanya marriage na mammoth. He went he, he, he went into a marriage with a mammoth. 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 Mami wata. Mammoth. Ju apate pesa so that he can get money apate ma magari kubwa he may get big cars alianza hii vitu alikuwa very young he started these things when he was very young anasema niliua huyu kwa family niliua huyu kwa family niliua huyu kwa family 
He said, I sacrifice this person, I sacrifice this person, Sasa I kill this person in the family. Atibisho Banza na Mirei Banza. So I wanted to kill Akbisho Banza and Mirei Banza. Sasa ilienda vibaya. So it went wrong. Siku weza kuwaua. I wasn't able to kill them. Sasa ibidi mimi ni kufe. So it was, it was, it was now me to die. Who oh, young pastor anasema, eh, pokea Yesu. The young pastor now told him receive Jesus. Angalia prayer, oh mama, Mire Banza litufanizia njoi na kulamusha. Look at the prayer that Mirei Banza did we did with us is the one that has woken you up. Pokea Yesu, Bwana Yesu atakutoa kwa hii covenant na shetani. Receive Jesus, he will remove you from the covenant with the devil. Anasema hapana. He said no. Siwezi ku renounce. I cannot renounce. Mita kufa. I will die. Musilie. Don't cry. Unajua ile inaniua. You know what is killing me. Mungu alimpatia few days. God gave him few days. Anakula ugali. He would eat ugali. Anacheka. He would laugh. Kila mtu alikuwa anatetemeka hivi. Everybody was shaking. After a few days amekufa. After a few days he died. Bali muzika tulituma pesa wa muzike. We sent money to bury him. Kanisa. Church. Tokope Mungu. Let us fear God. Inafa una receive Jesus kwa ukweli. You must receive Jesus in the truth. Na una focus kama citizen ya wa mbinguni. And you focus as a citizen of heaven. Unaenda kazini. When you go to work, unaenda unaanza kufanya dhambi na ma chief ya kadha ya, ya kadhini. You you go and sin with Unaanza kutenda dhambi ya ngono kazini. You, you go there and commit sexual sin at work. Kwa kanisa unavaa koti. Here in church you come dressed in a long coat. Kwa kazini unavala matrousa very tight. I, at your workplace you dress with tight tight trousers. Huko kwa, kwa 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 masomo. Even in the universities you dress differently. Aujue ile shetani anatenda na watu wake. You know you should know what the devil is doing with these people. Kama ina Mambo kama hii ilinikundia if things like this came to me kama ilinikuta kwa dhambi if it found me in sin sitakuwa hapo tena leo i would not be here today unaona wale nasaidia na roho mzuri you see those people that i was helping out of a clean heart wale mimi natoa village the ones that i removed from the village jo wale shetani anatumia is the one the devil is using Togope Bwana Yesu Let us fear God Tujenge maisha yetu na Bwana Yesu Let us build our life and in Christ Jesus Your Bible in a sema That is why the Bible is saying Kama Mungu ajenge nyumba If the Lord does not build the house Wale wanajenga The ones who build the wanajenga house Wanajenga kwa bule They labor in vain Hata huko Afrika Even here in Africa. Jenga na Mungu maisha yako. Build your life in Christ. Kujenga na Mungu inasema Building your life in Christ means Wakati unakutana na dhambi When you meet sin unakimbia dhambi You flee from sin. Vile Joseph. The same way Joseph. Kule Misri in Egypt alikata wife ya wife wa, wa, wa Potiphar. Wa, wa Potiphar. The way Joseph refused to sleep with Potiphar's wife. Alisema acha niende prison. He said let me go to prison. Nijenge na Mungu. I build with God. Mungu atanikumbuka. The Lord will remember me. Kujenga na Mungu Mungu atakukumbuka. Building with God he will remember you. Asante sana. Thank you so much. As we rise on our feet now everybody including Dr. Wa in front here tunaposimama miguni petu kila mtu kuhusisha wali wapa mbele so that we may receive Jesus ili tuweze kumpokea Yesu every one of us kila mmoja wetu and i want to welcome senior archbishop 
Mireille Banza to lead us to the Lord. Na nataka kumkaribisha askofu mkuu Mireille Banza atuelekeze kwa Bwana. Because she began the message. Kwa sababu yeye ndiye alianza ujumbe. She began the message very well. Alianza ujumbe vizuri sana. So precious people I welcome mama to lead us to the Lord. Kwa hivyo watu wa thamani namkaribisha mama askofu mkuu atuongoze kwa Bwana. We may receive Jesus. Ili tuweze kumpokea Bwana. Amen. Amen. Inua mikono juu. Inua ni mikono juu. Sema Bwana Yesu mkuu. Bwana Yesu mkuu. Natubu leo. Natubu leo. Dhambi zangu zote. Na divorce na shetani. Kwa jina la Yesu. Na divorce na dunia. Kwa jina la Yesu. Ingia moyo wangu. Ingia maisha ni wangu. Na tubu dhambi zangu zote. Unisame. Unisafishe. Na damu yako ya milele. Bwana Yesu. Andika jina langu. Kwa kitabu ya uzima. Roho mtakatifu. Unijaze. Na anointing yako. Inikataze zambi. Holy Spirit. Unilinde. Nitembeye. Kwa ogopa Mungu. Paka rapture itatendeka. Kwa jina la Yesu. Today. I am a born again. Sherekea, sherekea. Sherekea, sherekea. Leo nanza safari mupia. Yohan first. Yohan chapter three, verse three. The Bible says Yohan mlango atatu mfari. First Yohan. Yohana wa kwanza wa kana wa kwanza wa Yohana chapter 3 mlango wa 3 verse 3 mstari wa 3 Jesus anatuambia Yesu anatuambia ule wote ya kwamba yeyote yule is waiting for coming for Jesus ambaye anasubiri kuja kwa Yesu inafaa aogope Mungu inafaa amuogope Mungu atembee sasa kwa holiness sasa atembee kwa utakatifu from today kuanzia siku ya leo jina yako jina lako bwana Yesu bwana Yesu anayandika ameliandika kwa kitabu kwa kitabu ya life ya milele na uzima cha milele na damu ya Yesu na damu ya Yesu inakukova imekufunika damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu inakufunika imekufunika tangia sasa tangu sasa kuna kuanzia sasa shetani aliyakutupa huyo shetani aliyakutupa witchcraft ya family katika uchawi wa familia tuma kuue ili aweze kukuua kuanzia sasa damu ya Yesu damu ya Yesu inakutoa imekutoa inakuweka huru imekuweka huru kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu uko free uko huru kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu hakuna power ya witchcraft tena kwa maisha yako hakuna nguvu za uchawi tena katika maisha yako na Mungu anatubariki na beautiful mother power hapa Mungu ametubariki na madhabahu ya kupendeza mahali hapa save the lord here umtumikie bwana hapa Achana na makanisa ya Lord Lord. Achana na makanisa yanayosema Bwana Bwana. Bila residence bishop Lawrence ana to preach. Askofu mwenyeji Lawrence vile ametuhubiria to fate hii mafundisho. Tufundishe tufuate haya mafundisho. 
utapatia jina yako utampatia jina lako usiende kwa haraka haraka sana tu e, na hujisha microphone kwa narejesha kipaza sauti hata anointing unaona vile bwana yeso ana use mighty mighty mightiest prophet of the lord hata unaona namna ambavyo bwana yeso anamtumia manabii wakubwa wakubwa sana wa bwana anointing inaenda na sisi manyumbani opako huu unaenda pamoja nasi manyumbani pika nduru fanyeni nduru Vigelegele na shangwe jameni. Vigelegele na shangwe jameni. The presence of the Lord is here. Uwepo wa Bwana uko mahali hapa. And the spirit of the Lord is moving in a mighty way. Na roho wa Bwana anaondeka anaenda kwa njia kubwa. Setting people free. Ikiwa akiweka watu huru. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina kula Yesu. The Lord has decreed blessings. Bwana ametangaza na kuamuru baraka. The Lord has decreed blessings. Bwana ameamuru baraka. And blessings today. Na baraka siku ya leo. Haleluya. Haleluya. That is why you're seeing there is a visitation. Ndio maana unaona ya kwamba kuna mtemeleo. The anointing is flowing here. Na upako unatiririka mara hapa. So receive your healing. Kwa hivyo pokeeni upo jaji. Receive your blessing. Pokeeni baraka zenu. Receive the anointing. Pokea upako. In the mighty name of Jesus. Katika jina kuu la Yesu. Haleluya. Haleluya. As we share the benediction together. Tunaposhiriki ombi la mwisho la baraka pamoja. Haleluya. Haleluya. With your hands lifted up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord said to Moses, tell Aaron and his sons, this is how you are to bless the Israelites. Say to them. Waambie. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord make his face to shine on you. Amen. And be gracious to you. Amen. The Lord turn his face towards you Amen. and give you peace. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen and amen. Shalom. Shalom.